Next up, casino cafe manager offers employee raise to murder romantic rival after girlfriend dumped him for ex-husband. Wait a minute, what do you mean raise? A raise means I would still have to come to work in that bumpkin casino after I just murdered someone for you? It's not even like he was the casino manager. He was a casino cafe manager. So that means after I just killed someone for you, I would still have to go to work the next day and work the panini presses. A federal judge in Kentucky sentenced the man to 40 years. In 40 years, you can have 40 girlfriends, but this this is what you chose in prison for orchestrating the murder of his girlfriend's ex-husband after she decided to return to her spouse record show. Freddie Gonzalez, 40, pleaded guilty to possessing a firearm as part of a conspiracy to commit murder for hire in the death of 43-year-old Brian Russell and Franklin located in the southern part of the Bluegrass State. Gonzalez, a manager at a cafe at the Kentucky Downs Casino and Hotel, hired one of his employees to murder Russell. The employee, Xavier Posey, the dumbass that he is, shot Russell to death at the victim's home on December 30th, 2020. The failure of it all, though. You caught this woman coming out of a split. Then after being with you, she realized that there wasn't a damn thing out there for her in these streets. She didn't try to find another boyfriend. She didn't test the market. She went rocketing back to her ex-husband. You made a divorced woman want to run home and put her marriage back together. A true testament of a horrible human being then on top of that you set a whole nother person to handle your relationship problems according to prosecutors russell and his ex-wife were high school sweethearts who were married for 16 years and had two kids together in 2018 they separated and divorced but maintained contact to co-parent their children she began dating gonzalez in 2020 but broke it off after about eight months the grass ain't always greener is it sweetheart gonzalez continued to pine for the woman as she went pine is a funny word as she went back and forth between him and russell during this time gonzalez obsessively stalked the woman prosecutors said in a sentencing memorandum he deluged her with text messages surreptitiously placed a digital tracking device on her car damn no wonder she left him surveilled her and staged random encounters with her prosecutors wrote i mean he had crazy time in with that woman they were together through high school got out of high school and were married for 16 years with two kids you should have already known that that man was never going to be out of her life he was going to be a cornerstone in her life and she was always going to have deep sincere feelings for him you forgot your station there was always going to be a possibility on the table that they would start talking again to reconcile their differences ultimately she decided to go back to her ex-husband in mid-december 2020 fed said and honestly i think that it was a win for him that she even stayed with him for eight months stayed with him for that long before she decided to start heading on back to her ex-husband but apparently he didn't see it that way and enraged gonzalez told russell he had a gun and threatened to kill him per prosecutors gonzalez then concocted a scheme to murder russell he offered posey his dumb ass two thousand dollars a pickup truck plus a raise at the cafe to kill russell a raise so i still have to come to work after i kill someone for you after posey agreed Reed, prosecutors say Gonzalez gave him the murder weapon. Gonzalez also showed Posey where Russell lived, sketched a map of the victim's home, and included the address. According to prosecutors, Posey and Gonzalez exchanged text messages that discussed cleaning the kitchen, which was code for carrying out the murder. How covert. Officers from the Franklin Police Department responded to a shots fired call and found Russell suffering from gunshot wounds, sweating profusely, and struggling to breathe and begging for help. Feds wrote paramedics rushed Russell to the hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. Later that day, Posey texted Russell, Posey, did I not clean it good enough? These are two idiots. They act like nobody's going to be able to figure out what they're talking about. Gonzalez, I haven't heard from anyone. It was clean B she. What? Gonzalez, did you clean the hoods up there? Posey definitely did, but you can check when I get back to work. Let me see if I got this straight here. You murdered a man in cold blood over a relationship issue 
issue that had absolutely nothing to do with you at all over a promise of money that you won't be able to spend, over a promise of a truck that you won't be able to drive, and over a promise of a raise that you won't see because you'll be too busy pressing paninis in prison. The duo then disassembled the weapon and disposed of it in the Barren River, prosecutor said. After receiving his Miranda warnings, Gonzalez denied to detectives that he had anything to do with Russell's death, but after cops found the tracking device in the woman's car, they arrested him for stalking. While in jail, Gonzalez made a phone call where he asked, yeah, those Apple Air tags, I guess they track both ways, right? While in jail, Gonzalez made a phone call where he asked the person on the other line to remind Posey that all they talked about was cleaning the cafe. Prosecutors wrote, just further incriminating yourself, cops arrested Posey on January 9th, 2021 on outstanding warrants. That's when they found Gonzalez's hand-drawn map of Russell's home. <laughs> they also uncovered the text messages between Gonzalez and Posey. Feds indicted the duo in May 2021 to arrange for Mr. Posey to walk up to Mr. Russell's house, knock on his door, and murder him in cold blood. It's truly the most outrageous, unimaginable crime I can think of, U.S. District Court Chief Judge Greg Stiver said. For his part, what do you mean his part? Without his part, none of this ever happens. Gonzalez apologized for the hurt he caused. That means nothing. To Brian's family, I am ashamed to no end at the pain and suffering I put you in because of my jealousy and desperation. Gonzalez reportedly said, burn. Russell's son, see, they have to be nice about these things. I don't. Russell's son also made a victim impact statement. I lost my best friend and my first baseball coach, Russell's son reportedly said. He raised me to be the person I am today to take care of my family. The day I found out my father passed, my happiness was gone. Stivers on Tuesday sentenced Posey, who also pleaded guilty to 35 years in prison. There you have it, kids. Freddy Gonzalez and Xavier Posey, two pieces of human garbage. Tell me what you think.